In 2003, in the driest desert on Earth, something impossible was found. Inside a deserted mining town in Chile's Atacama Desert, a tiny skeleton lay wrapped in cloth. It was only six inches long. Its skull was elongated, its eye sockets were massive, its ribs only 10, not the normal 12, and the bones were hard, not brittle like a fetus, not fragile like something recently formed. These bones looked old. At first glance, many thought it was a hoax, then others thought something far worse. Doctors who examined the skeleton were shocked. The bone structure suggested the being was six to eight years old, not a newborn. The skull shape didn't match any known deformity, and the rib count didn't align with normal human anatomy. The skeleton became known as Atta. For years, Atta passed through collectors, researchers, and laboratories. Some claimed it was evidence of alien life. Others said it could be a mutated human, though no known condition could explain all its features at once. The Atacama Desert itself added to the mystery. This is a place where bodies don't decay normally. Skin dries, flesh mummifies, bones preserve themselves for centuries. Some of the world's oldest remains have been found here, untouched by time. So how long had Ada been lying there? In 2018, DNA tests were finally conducted. Scientists concluded that Ada was human, a female child with multiple genetic mutations that cause severe deformities. Case closed? Not quite. The mutations identified had never been documented together before. Some of them were so rare they had no recorded cases. Even with genetics as an explanation, researchers admitted the skeleton's development still didn't fully make sense. And then there was another question no one could answer. How did a child with such extreme conditions survive long enough for the bones to show signs of aging? No burial, no records, no missing child reports, just a body left in one of the most unforgiving places on earth. Some believe Otto was abandoned out of fear. Others believe the truth was hidden deliberately. And some still argue the DNA results were shaped to end the controversy. Because sometimes when a discovery attracts too much attention, science doesn't solve it, it silences it.